And here it is. Okay. So Mob Psycho is a 200 point forensics challenge. And the description here says, can you handle APKs? Download the Android APK here. And there's a link. So I'm going to provide the link to this challenge right here and link it in chat to anybody. So anybody who wants to try can, uh, can try it out. And then I'm going to copy the, the link that leads to the uh, APK package. And I will, do, I will also link that in the chat. So we're going to go to our web shell and we're going to we're going to move into the mob psycho directory and I'm going to create a temporary directory to work in. And then I'm going to download the APK file over here. So with the wget command, so I've saved it. So the hint in the challenge over here says, did you know you can unzip APK files? Okay, so APK files are Android uh, application files, uh, which are used to, uh, to install apps. So you can, un uh, according to this information right here, you can unzip them like you would any other um, compressed file. And you can do so with the following command right here. So it's going to be unzip and then mobpsycho.apk. So we do that. And it inflates and extracts all these files over here that are that are that are associated with this uh, with this Android program. Okay, so the the challenge in this case is that we're supposed to find the flag inside of this file, and because this is a digital forensics category, uh, we're expected to search through the these files over here to uh, to find to find the flag, which is our objective. Well, the problem is, is, uh, is that there are multiple directories and each one of these directories, there could be um, a few dozen files. So it's a bit difficult to, uh, to manually search through them all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the second hint from this challenge right here that says, now you have a whole host of shell tools for searching these files. Okay, so the first shell tool we could try when we're trying to locate a specific file uh, is the find command. So it's going to be find and then specify the directory, which is the current directory and all of the um, all of the other directories inside of this directory. So that is uh, that is des de designated by the dot right here. And what we need to do is we need to search for uh, a file name. And for example, we could look for something called uh, a flag. So sometimes in these uh, forensics challenges, we're looking for something called uh, a flag file. So we could do we could do star flag star, which means that we're looking for any file with the name that contains the uh, the string flag inside of it. So we we can search for that. And it's going to find this file right here called flag.txt. Another thing we could we could do is we could look for uh, we look for strings inside of um, inside of the files in here. Uh, for example, we could use the uh, the grep command. Let me pull up my notes real quick. Okay, so let me grab my grep command right here. So grep is going to search inside of files. Um, so we use grep with the dash r flag right here, uh, which makes it recursive, which means that uh, we can search inside of um, all the files in the current directory and in any any inside of the this any inside of directories inside of this directory as well. And we can search for um, for a particular string. I think it's with the dash e command. And we can search for the string uh, Pico. And why would we let's search for the string Pico? It's because um, most of this, most of the 
most of the flags in Pico CTF start with the with the prefix. Um, they start with the prefix Pico CTF. So we could actually just specify we're looking for Pico CTF as a prefix when we run grep. Okay, and it's not going to find anything. But in a lot of cases, in these kind of files, um, they like to obscure the flag using either hexadecimal hexadecimal note uh, hexadecimal representation of ASCII, or uh, they use base64 to encode their flag. So we could try looking for something that's a grep command that's going to find um, find uh, hex digits, like long strings of hex digits. So I'm going to demonstrate this particular grep command right here. And we've got grep and then dash R for recursive and then P for dash capital P. I think this is going to let us do, um, let me, let me ask real quick, uh, what this, uh, what the dash capital P when, when using grep, what does the dash capital P flag do? Okay. So the dash capital E flag enables Perl compatible regular expressions. Okay, so we're, we're sending a big regular expression along with this command here. Uh, and in this case, it's going to, it's going to look for these particular, um, these particular characters. So the numbers zero to nine, uh, the letters A to F and the capital letters A to F. And these are the, um, these are the, these are the, this is the character set that they use inside of uh, hex code. And the last thing right here is denotes that it's going to search in the current directory. So we do that. And we see that um, this matches right here, which is the, um, which is the flag.txt file inside of dot res, um, slash res slash color. So what we need to do is we need to look inside of this directory. So we're going to cat out that particular file. And it's just this right here. So because this is a long string of hexadecimal characters, this might be the hexadecimal representation of ASCII. So we covered uh, the difference between ASCII and uh, the hex representation in the last challenge. But uh, let's copy this over. And we can check this with the, uh, with the app we were using in the last challenge, which is the ASCII text to hex code converter. Okay. But in this case, we're going to go from hexadecimal to text. So we're going to paste in our long hex string, and then we're going to hit the convert button over here, and it's going to give us the flag. Okay. So we can copy the flag. And then we can go back to the challenge page and paste in the flag in the challenge, um, the challenge submission panel right here. So click on submit flag. And then we can go back to the challenge and we can upvote it to show our appreciation for this challenge to the challenge maker. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.